Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Sharon, and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the crew, subscribe, get notified for more videos just like this. But on this channel, we talk about tech, we review new smartphones and the latest um, budget devices. Now, big shout out to Yuma Digi because they actually sent out one of their newest smart devices. We're gonna get into this in a little bit of detail. this is the unboxing now really um appreciative for them sending this out so right here we do have the smartphone we're gonna cut it open and just see uh, I haven't cut it seen what it is yet okay so now I know what it is it is the Yuma Digi a7s so this is one of their latest smartphone around hundred dollars on Aliexpress you can also get it on uh, Amazon as well now we do have the listing of the specs right here on the box so i'm going to read those to you right now but uh again i just want to give you medigi a huge shout out for sending this smartphone out this let me just see what, what 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 it says on the back of here so we also do get the 720 display with the 1600 times 720 13 megapixel with a 2 megapixel and an 8 megapixel as well as the 8 megapixel front camera so triple triple cameras on this device definitely looking to get in, into the package and kind of seeing what this thing is going to offer but let's go ahead cut the box open and um definitely just want to give a big shout out to yuma digi for sending out their latest smartphone i really um, um i'm humbled because i've never had a, a company send out their smartphone with um to the channel so that's pretty cool so let's go ahead check this out see what it has to offer but let's i'm going to cut this side right here and right here. Oh, damn. Okay, let's put this back. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop open the box right now. And right away, you're gonna be greeted with the Umidigi A7S. Now, this is the first smartphone to have a, a non-contact infrared thermometer. So. It has also has an independent short key for that. So you can launch the thermometer. You put it like a couple of uh, inches from the person's head, maybe like a foot. Well, we'll get into this in a, in a little bit more detail. Now, it also does have a 13 megapixel ultra wide triple camera, uh, eight, eight megapixel AI beautify selfie camera, uh, 6.3 HD plus full screen display with a 20 by nine in cell display type C. Uh, for charging as well as a type C port on the bottom for charging as well. So you're going to get a 4,150 milliamp hour battery, which is a two day battery as well. You're also getting two slots independently for your SD card as well as a separate slot for your SD card. So triples, triple slots. You're also getting Android 10 go with the global bands on LTE. So let's go ahead and take this out of the box. Right away, we're greeted with the phone, a charging brick, which it comes with. It also does come with your cable right here. Nothing else is in the package. Put that off to the side. And now let's just see what this has to offer. So we do get the red cable right here, which is going to be your type C cable. I'm probably gonna use this one just cause it looks cool. Um, it's actually pretty long for what it is. It's not the longest one in the world, but it does give you that type C for charging. Let's put this off to the side. You also do get your phone right here. Let's take off the, I just want to show you, it does come with a jelly case. Uh, on the back of the phone, it does list some of the specifications. So you get the eight megapixel and flash 13 megapixel. This is the AI thermometer detector so you can read people's temperatures like i know whenever i go to the gym they do that to me they make sure they read my temperature so this is actually pretty cool um it does have your volume rockers on the side of it i'm gonna go ahead and pop the case off this is a gel case which will protect it from any scratches on the back of the phone so i kind of want to see what materials they used this is the very first time i'm touching it. it has a nice weight to it as well on the side of it you do get your your plastic power button you also do get your volume rocker no texture on there on the other side there is a dedicated button right here for uh the temperature the thermometer which we'll get into in a little bit more detail 
bottom you do get your type c speaker as well kind of a flat design here on the bottom which is kind of cool if i don't know if you could see that but nice aerodynamic shape to it um type c charging i'm pretty sure it's your standard charging as well uh on the back it does list uh also the other things here let's go ahead take off the tape on the back and I kind of wanted to see the texture that we got going here. So let's put this off to the side. Wow, this is a really cool texture. Um, different from any other texture that I've seen ever before. Um, I've, it's kind of hard to describe. Let me show you this. Okay, so kind of like a vinyl. This feels like vinyl. Definitely gonna be uh, resistant of any fingerprints here. I'm really liking the back of this 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 phone. It feels like vinyl, like a the back of a record. I don't know if you guys are old enough to know what a record player is or a record, but this feels like the vinyl, like when a DJ is scratching a record. That's exactly what this feels like. And then on the back of the phone, it gives you a vibe of like a Honor camera setup. This looks like my Honor camera setup or even the uh, Samsung FE fan edition, but that looks really cool. The AI thermometer is there as well. Let's pull off the tape and there is a screen protector on here. I actually ripped that off without realizing. Okay, there we go, boom. And there's, okay, so the, there's no screen protector underneath. I just, there, there might've been one on there, but I ripped that off. Let's give this thing some juice. And while that's powering up, I wanna peel open the, the Link to the World pamphlet and just see what that includes. So you can see what we get the power brick, the charger. This got stuck to the thing, hold on. Let's put that off to the side. So shout out to you, Medigi, one more time. So we are getting your, your tool here to remove the SIM tray slot, as well as your Umadigi, thanks for choosing Umadigi projects, products, the A7S. So this is gonna ha entail everything that you need to know, the dual nano with the SIM as well. Uh, if you wanna read that, you can do so. So you can see we do have the phone here. Let's go back, I touched the wrong button. Okay, so we do have the start menu here. So I really like the, the vinyl feel on the back of that. Let's press the start menu. You get your option to enter your SIM card, 93% on this device really large battery do do drop display looks really good it says for you to enter your sim card we'll get into that on the next video but again really nice large display on this device really nice this uh size on it nice camera setup i'm actually really liking this setup here uh Umidigi branding on the other the, the back end right here as you can see a flat design on the bottom and on the top it does also have a flat design as well with a headphone jack right up top so that's kind of cool to see noise cancellation mic on the bottom but nothing at the top as far as microphones it's still setting up so that's to be expected so now you can see it says just a second this phone feels really good in the hand i'm really surprised how good this phone looks and feels for the price point nice navy blue color um, I've been using the phone the whole time. You can hear the notifications. It sounds really loud. You can see the glare on there as well. Now, this is the screen 720 display, but 720 plus. So right out the gun, there's no um, app tray on here. So you can see right away, it's pretty smooth when you're scrolling through the interface. Very, very smooth. You can see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, do not disturb, flashlight, auto rotate, battery saver, your network for your SIM card, dark mode is included. You can also go down and you got screencast built in as well as night light and hotspot. I wish that they had the uh, three gigabytes, but you know, two gigabytes for the price is not bad. I haven't used the device with two gigabytes for a long time, but this feels really snappy for the price. So honestly don't mind that at all you can see like this thing is moving pretty quickly when it comes to the animations and everything like that so Umidigity has always been a smartphone company that's been accommodating 
the budget territory. I think they're doing a really good job keeping the people and the users happy in this price point. This thing also does come with Zello, as well as the thermometer, calculator. You also do get hotspot, Wi-Fi. Let me see if there's Wi-Fi calling on here as well. Gallery, I mean, Android 10 Go, which is like a, a, a smaller version of Android 10. Uh, so right out of the gun, you're gonna notice that we do have in the Google set, we do have Google Go, YouTube, Maps Go, and they're just gonna be smaller apps. So let's go into your, your, your storage. You do get facial unlock on here as well. And you also do get a fingerprint. Wait, where's the fingerprint sensor? So there's no fingerprint sensor on this device. That's the first thing I did notice. No fingerprint sensor, but you do get facial unlock. So let's go into security and see what this is all about. Uh, security right here. So you can see smart lock. You get your options here for things of, of that nature. So when you're in smart lock, you can enter your pin and let me see. That sounds really loud. I don't think I'll ever miss a notification with this device. So smart lock does give you on body detection and that's it on here. But let's go into, for example, the smart key option. That's the thermometer that double click opens up Zello and long click opens up flashlight smart navigation. So you could be Three button navigation, two button navigation, or the gestures. Let's go to the gestures real right quick. So you do get the option to choose, change it to gestures, and then you can just swipe up to go back and you get your most recent here. Let's click here. And I did notice in one thing about um, Android Go, there is no multitasking on apps, which is kind of weird. So like if I was to open YouTube and then go back right here, we wouldn't get the option for multitasking. So it's it's gonna be a really simplified device. And I really do think this is pretty cool for the price. Uh, we'll, we'll get into a lot more of videos with this device, but let me know what you guys think about the Human Digi A7S and everything about it for the price. We'll get into a lot more um, detail, but it does lack a fingerprint sensor, NFC, uh, wireless charging, you're not definitely not going to get that, but you do get facial unlock. Let's just go ahead and set up a facial unlock on here. Swipe to unlock the device. You can enter your pin pattern, but on this device, what's pretty cool is that it does give you the option right here to enter your face unlock. So let's just set that up real quick and then we'll wrap the video up. Uh, right here, so face unlock. Uh, unlock the screen when the screen sliding up. Enable face recognition when sliding up. So it's setting this up right now and enroll face. So you got to enter the pin. And then just it says right here keep the phone 20 to 50 centimeters away from your face. Avoid any bright or dim environment when enrolling your face. And then you just go ahead. I'm going to skip that. All right, so it's done enrolling my face. It does say you can get a vibration. You can fill in dark environments. Let's go into the camera. I just want to see what that looks like and then we'll wrap up the video. But you do get portraits on here, which is actually pretty cool. One times, two times as well. So one and two times portraits. Pictures go up to two times as well. And then the video, you get your one and two times as well. Let's go into the, you get electronic image stabilization on this device and the video goes up to 720. This quality, uh, let's test out some of the scene modes on here. You do get a bunch of those. But overall, this is the unboxing and what you would get out of the box. Uh, pretty decent phone for the price. Let me know what you guys think about the Humidigi A7S. But I'm gonna wrap this video up. But thank you guys for staying locked in. You are now part of the crew. Thank you for tuning in with me and chill with me on the next video. We're going to do this very soon, but I'll be right with you. Peace. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is the Humidigi A7S microphones, and I'm 
actually using the front facing camera, 8 megapixel, indoors, low light, well, there's a light above me, and there's a few lights here on my desk, but other than that, let me know how the microphone sounds, and overall, how does the quality look? It did adjust itself right there, did a really good job as well. Hey, what's going on guys? So this is the front facing camera, 8 megapixel, low light. Let me know how it's doing inside when I'm using it to record indoors. This is the 720 quality and um, it's actually not bad. This is low light. 